They just have to let people know that, hey, there's this really cool free thing that you could check out. Yeah. And and when, you know, it's like when I wrote the manifesto, it was the same thing, right? Like I was giving it away free. And once it started to get momentum, a lot of my partners were like, well, I might as well give it away because they're going to get most of the prospects on my list are going to find it anyway. I might as well get the affiliate commission, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. And so I like doing things that way. Like I love to give my affiliates and my partners something that they can give their people for free that enters them into my universe. So then I'm not asking them to my partner to try and sell. And, you know, for me, like they already have the, the, you know, the prospect. So, or the customer. So uh, I want to give them something that they can give their people as a bonus, as something that like they are happy that they're on that list. And then, you know, I can pick up from there. And that's really the way it should be done. I think yeah. also one, yeah, one of the main problems today, the idea that they have is that when they promote some other people's stuff is that people are going to spend money on other businesses so that they're not going to have money to spend for their business. But I think that's a false idea. And you can tell me what do you think about that. Um, and also maybe a problem of ego. So when you promote some uh, other people's stuff, then they think you're saying that they are you know, better than you or you're not the top person anymore. But actually, when you associate to high quality co content, it actually increases your authority in the market as well because you're, you're promoting something high quality you become more high quality uh, as well because you're kind of a partner with them yeah there's no doubt right and so i would say that yeah you can't be an expert at everything that's just impossible mm -hmm. right and um i'm i i'd like to think that i'm a very good marketer i'm one of the best but that doesn't mean that there's not lots of other marketers that are doing lots of things that are things I can't do, things I don't know how to do, things that um, I would be inept at teaching other people how to do. And so it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't make me look any worse by telling others that they can get this really cool product over here or over there. And I, so I don't see that as like a as taking away any authority. Um, in fact, someone who thinks they have all the answers is somewhat suspect. And uh, I think that the, yeah, that there's just a trying to, it's, it's a very scarcity minded idea that you're just going to keep your customers all to yourself. And, you know, that doesn't mean that you should recommend everything because you shouldn't. You should vet those things because people will hold you responsible if they go buy something and then it's crap, uh, as they should. But, uh, you know, in addition, the idea that, like, I've, it's never occurred to me that if my customers buy someone else's product, they're not going to have money for my product. It just never mm -hmm. occurred to me. One, I guess, because, like, if I'm, ref if I'm recommending any, uh, anyone else's product or service it's something i believe in so i think that you know i wouldn't promote it if i didn't believe in it so i think that they'll have more money not less <laughs> and um and same you know i'm also like if someone pays me twenty thousand dollars i hope they make at least a hundred thousand like <laughs> right. it's not like you know it, it they should have more money after they're done with me not less money that doesn't really bode well on how they see their business mm -hmm. great yeah. great thank you i really like the the fact that you said <laughs> i hope they will make more even more money when they spend some money so that's great